Right, I'm going to put the video for yesterday up anyway, just so you can see what I was up to. But there wasn't much to show, because I didn't dig up that much. Um, <laughs> the, the best thing to look out for is Scott's little Nazi pouch. <laughs> This little black thing that he's got strapped to his waist. <laughs> That's the best part of the video. And then, um, I don't know if Simon was making a video or just taking pictures, but um, if he was making a video, check out his channel. I'll put a wee link in the description, as they say. And that's it, there'll be a, a field video or some such thing this week, because my leg is getting a little bit better. Uh, so enjoy the video. <laughs> Enjoy that pouch. <laughs> Detector Scott, go to his channel and rip him silly for his Nazi, <laughs> Nazi uniform pouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good morning. Good morning. Um, oh, average speaker. Right, I'm going through to Fife. We're crossing over to Fife just now, so we're literally travelling back in time, honestly. Watch this. We're about to travel 10, 15 years back in time. This is the land of my ex-girlfriend. I better not say anything else. It, no, anyway, this, is an, this seems to be an organised dig um, that I'm going to... I had two offers. Treasure hunt in Scotland, I'm pretty sure Mark has got something on. The only reason I'm going to this is because it's closer to me, less driving. I really don't know what I'll be doing because my knee, my ligament is still sore. So there's probably going to be a lot of standing about from me and not much else. And I don't really know if I'm allowed to film either. We only got the postcode to this location last night. They didn't want anybody going and, you know, doing it first, so it's a bit secret, I don't know if I'll be, be able to film or anything, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out what I forgot, I'm already, I'm an hour late, so that's the first thing, I'm an hour behind everybody else, all the good stuff will be gone, it's meant to be a Roman field, that means nothing to me because my Ace 250 won't find Roman things, <laughs> I guarantee it, so, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, and this entire stretch of motorway is just a 40, and it has been for about six years now. I wish they would hurry up and finish these roadworks. Um, and they've got average speed cameras, so you kind of have to do 40. Why are we doing 40? There is nobody working on the roads. Right, anyway, that's that's it. I'm going to this organised dig. I won't be able to dig much because my knee... Um, I'll see when I'm there if I'm allowed to film. If I'm not allowed to film, this will be the shortest video on my channel. Uh, see you soon. In fact, I won't see you soon. It's going to be ages because we're stuck at 40 miles an hour. What is this? See what I mean about travelling back in time? Slowly. Right, I'm, I better put this off and follow my sat nav. Right, I'm not gonna lie, it is actually a quite a nice uh, drive. The scenery is, I don't know if the camera will pick it up in a million years, but the scenery is quite nice. I can't complain about that. I'm just uh, just wondering if I've, I think my petrol light's about to come on, <laughs> and I'm just gonna risk it. I have actually ran out of petrol before, so. <laughs> it's a pretty big risk. Uh, I, I'm just going to go for it. I don't. I think it, I'm still half an hour away, and it's uh, times it. It's half nine. I think they were there at half eight. <laughs> I'm not sure there'll be anything left in this field for me anyway. So, uh, oh well. <laughs> it's just going to be a waste of time. I'm not even going to be able to dig anything that is in this field. Anyway, I'll see when I see. I thought I would show you some of the scenery, but we've actually missed it. We sit Sam, Sam, and there's Ian. I've been to Uswaromalu. Eighty days. The 
Hmm. Anyway, my, my pair trolley is way In 300 yards, at the roundabout, take the first exit. My pet trolley is well and truly on. It says I'm two and a half miles away. But if there's no petrol station, I've got to come at least two and a half miles back. Way more than that, because I haven't seen one for miles, like 10 or 20 miles. <laughs> I seriously hope there's a petrol station somewhere around here. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, continue straight onto Newburgh Road, A913. Newburgh? Newburgh? I don't know this, I've, I've never been here in my life. There's, there could be a petrol station just right down there, for all I know. I'm sort of hoping to find one on a main... Oh, oh. See, that sign's got everything but petrol. <laughs> you can even sleep there, but you can't get petrol. What, what, what did she say? Straight over? I can't see her f oh. I'm gonna guess she said go straight over. <laughs> In 150 yards, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Listen lady, you take me to a petrol station. <laughs> sure how much you're allowed to film here but there's loads and loads of folk <laughs> is it <laughs> well there is an invigilator with a high-vis jacket you not seen them <laughs> I've not found anything Scott's definitely not found anything um, it's a huge big field it looks good though I'm just gonna do it beside the road but I've not found anything yet. And that's that. And my petrol light is worrying me. I need to find a petrol station. There isn't one here. Anyway. Right, I just found this. Scott just found a, a smaller version of that. I just want to get his wee pouch in the video. <laughs> it's like it's off a Nazi uniform. A Nazi uniform or something. That pouch is just unexplainable. That pouch is. <laughs> Always check the measurements. <laughs> anyway. I haven't been filming anything really, but I just dug this up and it's a beautiful. It's got two, ri two ridges on it, it's a mini ball. So I found that plus a, a musket. I don't know if that's a pistol ball or a muscle ball, but that's a mini ball. Anyway. What's that? Lead. Shows up as a coin. A coin. Anyway, quite happy with that. That's a hammered coin that Simon found. Oh. Shit, I've just dropped it, Simon. <laughs> I actually have just dropped it. Oh, there it is there, there it is. Oh. <laughs> you just... <Find> just <laughs> right, this is a hammered coin that Simon found, aka the big man. And it's bent, which apparently means that somebody... It's a love token. It's a love token. I've never, never seen one of them in my life. I'm I was just about to come over and detect that bit where he found it, so well done Simon, that, that is something else. Nice one. Hey, I just found a nice wee button with a loop still attached to it. Don't think there's anything in the front, but I am pleased with that. Really not finding much else. Just informed me it is uh, a cuff button and it's military. That makes it a bit more special. And here comes the rain. Did a good signal. Uh, what do you think it is? He doesn't know yet. He's not that good. <laughs> 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 
for a psychic ever to be standing in the field, I'd just walk around the field and go and pick up what I wanted. You got something, Scott? Okay, guys, going for a curse of the live dig. Got a hit one over here somewhere. Up to rise up. Oh, look at that. Cool. It's a little trade, mate. Is it? Little coin, mate. Excellent. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if it's getting through right inside it. What is that, Roman then? No, no, um, could be dated between anybody thing, I suppose. Let's just go with Roman then. We'll go with Roman, yes. <laughs> it is, it's a Roman. <laughs> Obviously. I've not seen one of them before. Nice. Can I see where it comes up on my detector? Well, it's a nice sunny day. The rain has stayed off, but I'm honestly not finding anything other than iron. The mini ball, which is, I'll take that, happy with that. Pistol ball and a button. Tons and tons of iron and loads of people. Loads of people. Plus stubble, which I'm sure takes a couple inches off what you what height you're getting. But uh, aye, quite a few people have left, but we're still here. But they're really, I don't know, but the other two. But I have not found much at all. I thought I was onto something with this, but just a piece of scrap. Yeah, and I hope I didn't offend any fifers by what I was saying when I was coming through, it was all just a joke. I'm sure they know that. <laughs> um, hold on a sec, I'm going to pause it. I'm going, to, I'm going to film my finds, um, but it was digging, digging Scotland to set this up. So credit, credit to them for securing the permissions to giant big fields. Uh, loads of iron. I think that's a pipe stem that just popped out of an iron signal hole. There was a piece of iron in it, obviously. I don't know what that is. Rifle barrel, maybe? <laughs> Not a clue. Um, a little horseshoe or a, a heel off a, a shoe. Iron, I just... All scrap. Um... Yeah, a button, a little button, you've seen that. Lovely mini ball. And a pistol ball, and that's me. Simon got a hammered coin, can you believe that? My leg is absolute agony, I shouldn't have done this today, but I'm glad I came. Um, gutted that I never got to go to the bottle digging though. Anyway, never mind. That's me, that's me done. Not, not the best of videos, unfortunately, but I'm happy with this mini ball. It's got two ridges on it. I know folk find them all the time, but I'm happy with that, so there we go. Cheers. Another video soon. Hopefully the leg's healing up. Right. I'm on my way home now. I need off. Oh, yeah, I need to find the petrol station. Soon.